hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we will study about outside fragment in sap ui file okay so today in this video we will i will write the code inside visual studio code okay uh, if you want to write uh, you can write any one id a business application studio or visual studio code anyone you can write okay so first um, I create a folder inside uh, Windows Explorer and I kept that name um, outside fragment. Okay, so I open this Visual Studio Code and I open folder from uh, inside Visual Studio Code and here outside fragment my, is my folder. So I open here. Okay, you can see this my outside fragment folder is open. This one is view file and this one is my controller file. Okay. So guys, before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon. And uh, earlier video, I get comment that uh, uh, please create more videos. So I I will so I will create more. I will upload more videos on SAP UI five. Uh, so please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Then uh, it uh, really inspire me to make this type of uh helpful video if it's really helpful for you so i will create so uh, without any further delay let's start so here um, i create this view file so inside the content i create a button and you can see this this is my button okay and button id id is it is automatically generated when quick fixes come and this text sign up trace is open refragment i write here name of my button uh, when we click on trace then open refragment will click on the button you can write any name here okay and uh, inside the quotation and type is emphasize class is small sap ui small margin and with it 90 pixel and button is close closing tag okay and uh, here because it is outside fragment so i create a out fragment folder fragment folder i will create okay click on web app and click on then this folder and by and uh, put the name of your fragment folder name i keep here for my folder name is fragment and then uh, inside the fragment write your fragment file name like uh, i I place that my fragment file name is frag1. You can give here any name dot xml. Okay. And uh, here you can see this. And uh, this is my fragment folder. And inside this fragment folder, this is my fragment file. So I want to, uh, I want to explain more rather than write the code so i paste here my code so this is my uh, library core fragment definition and uh, this is xmlns uh, core sap ui core i write uh, here namespace and uh, this is library you must you write this otherwise your output will not so and here i use a dialog dialog id dialog is important when you click on button then pop up a pop-up is called will show okay i will show on the output this dialog id id will generate by the quick fix and here i put a icon you can uh, search icon from the icon explorer okay like sap ui sap ui5 icon explorer you can search and you can put you can um, here you can uh, so many they go to the sap icons and uh, here too many icons are present suppose i i i'll put the this icon uh, this one icon account icon and then click on the here and uh, copy that icon link and put the your id business application story so i put here in this way you can see this and title is fragment and type is message okay and uh, again i create create here buttons uh, inside the button this button is come here and uh, 
I will show you. Okay. And button ID, ID will generate generated by its own. Text is close and press close refresh. You can write here any name here. Okay. And button and button closing text buttons and dialog button dialog and uh, close fragment definition is closing text coming here and go to the controller.js and here I use this uh, MBC controller library also already present when you create a file inside a controller this ID library is already present okay but here I add a fragment library this is compulsory you must be at otherwise your output will not so so this is library i added here for fragment and inside here you can see this my code on inside the only function is the first loaded function and here i write here open refragment uh, where you uh, where uh, is this open refragment uh, name i write here we go to the view here button when user click on sign up button then open refragment but will be press so i call this name press inside the controller open refragment function and if this dot dialog and this the dot dialog uh, equal to sap ui dot xml fragment okay here i write my um, file name which is project one and uh, i give the path of my fragment first i write here my project name which is project one you can see this and uh, this is fragment folder you can see this i have already created i have already show you uh, so this is fragment inside the fragment there is fragment one frag one fragment dot xml file is already here so i write here frag one frag one is my file name okay i hope no confusing confusion you have from up to here so after that i put here comma and then closing bracket and colon this dot get view dot add dependent this dot dialog then uh, curly braces close and this dot dialog open when you click on button then uh, fragment will open through the open function and close refrag where i use here i bind i call this close refrag function from the view when user want to view xml file here close you can see this close text close when user want to close the fragment then the close refrag function will be called in the inside the controller and the close function will be called and your uh, fragment will be closed automatically by the user so I hope you understood this. Uh, I will run this code and show your output uh, why you, what you will get. Similar way you can run this click on here. Similar way which we have did on the business application studio how to run same way you can run in the visual studio code also this is sign up button which i have created here this is the code of sign up uh, inside the view text is sign up press is open read fragment so the sign up button is coming from xml file and when i click on here you can see this this fragment is come okay and when i want to cl close then it close okay so this uh, when i click on sign up button then open refragment function is called here so fragment is open when i click on close then close refragment function is called and it is close okay so this one this one is open refragment function this one is open refragment function when i click on open then uh, sign up button when i click then open refragment function is called and when i click on uh, close then uh, close refragment function is called okay guys i hope you understand which videos okay if you really like this video then please like subscribe and share more and more only then i will create more videos it if it's really helpful to you then
I know about that. It's really helpful. Okay, so this one is fragment. In uh, in next video, I will show you how to do inside fragment. Okay, this one is outside fragment. And this one is icon, which I uh, take, uh, which I took from the icon explorer of SAP UI five. You can put here any icon link and you can do this. Okay. Okay. Bye guys. We'll, we will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching.